Hi everybody. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how you can use Cellfire to create a deals page for your WordPress blog. This page is going to show a list of products that are discounted or on sale. Promoting products that are discounted is a great way to entice visitors and to increase your click-through rate on your ads. But before we get started, let's go over the list of things that you're going to need to follow along with the screencast. First, you'll need a Cellfire account. You can sign up for Cellfire for free at Cellfire.com. No credit card is required. Second, you're going to need your own WordPress blog or website. If you don't have one, I recommend using HostGator. You can get your own blog there for only $4 a month. You'll also need to install the Cellfire WordPress plugin into your WordPress blog. Again, you can get the Cellfire WordPress plugin for free. Just search for Cellfire from within the WordPress plugin management screen. Lastly, you'll need to have a publisher account with one of the affiliate networks that we work with. You can sign up as a publisher for free. I recommend share a sale and commission junction for beginners. All right, let's get started. First, let's log into Cellfire and create a new store. In today's example, we're going to be selling designer jeans. So I'll just call this store discounted jeans. Okay, now we are in the Cellfire store builder and on the search panel. This is where you find all the products that you want to include in your store. Let's begin by searching for jeans in the keyword term. Also, since we're looking for designer jeans, let me filter out any products that are less than $75 by just typing $75 into the minimum price field. Also, since we're creating a hot deals page, we also need to limit our results to products that are on sale. To do that, let's activate the advanced search section and create a search filter. In our example, we only want products that have been discounted by more than 25%. So let's just enter that into a filter by selecting discount percent then greater than, and then entering in the number 25. All right, now let's search this. Okay, we've got lots of results back. Along the left-hand side of the search panel is the results browser, and we can see all the merchants that returned results. Obviously, we can see that not all of these results are relevant to what we're searching for. Let's try to filter them out. One thing we can do to whittle down the results is search by category. This will limit our results to only products whose category contains a certain word. The category is provided by the merchant, though, not Cellfire, so it can be tricky to get the right words. Also know that not all merchants provide category text. All right, let's limit our results to women's jeans by creating a new filter. You can see I'm entering multiple words into this category filter and separating them by comma. By doing that, I'm indicating that the category field can contain any of these words, but must contain at least one. Alright, let's give that a search. Alright, looks like we're getting closer, but still, some not so relevant results are sneaking in. Let's finish up by limiting our search to only certain companies. To do this, I'm going to create a merchant group. To create a merchant group, I'll start by right-clicking on a merchant that I want to include in the results. That brings up the context menu. I can then click into merchant groups and create a new merchant group. Now I'll click onto one more merchant and add it to our group page. Next, let me set my search to only include results from the new group. Alright, there we go. That's looking pretty good. We have designer women's jeans that are on sale from only two merchants. Okay, now we need to associate our store with this search. Let's just click the Add All Search Results to Store link and give our search a name. And that's it. All the results from that search will be automatically added to the store and be kept up to date with the merchant's data feed. Now before we move on to WordPress, let's customize the style of our store. Let's move on to the Edit tab. You'll notice that the Edit tab doesn't show any products. This is because products that are being added automatically via search don't show up here. So in order to get a sense of what the products will look like, let's just add a couple for now. Just bounce back to the search tab and add a few things. And now let's go back to the edit tab. All right, let's make some changes. First, I'm going to switch this to a three column layout. Next, I'm going to select the simple theme to give it a little bit more of an elegant look. I'll also make the image a bit smaller so people don't have to scroll as much. I'll just pick a smaller value in the image width drop down. Finally, I'm going to set the price to be red to make it more prominent that it's on sale. 
Just click Price and then use the color selector in the toolbar. All right, I like the way these products look. I'm going to save this theme for later. Just switch over to the Theme tab and click Save. Now when I make another store, I can apply this theme easily. I'll show you by switching back and forth between themes. You can see the style of the products change as I switch in between themes. Cool, we're done. Let's just jump over to the Search tab and remove our placeholder products. All right, now save our store and get it to WordPress. All right, in WordPress, I'm just going to create a new WordPress page. You could also choose to use a new post. That would work as well. And then, using the Cellfire plugin, just select the store in the drop-down and add it to the blog. Let's save the page and check it out. And that's it. Look, you now have pages of discounted products on your blog, and you never have to worry about updating them or downloading a data feed. So that's it for this screencast. If you have any questions or suggestions, please email us at support at cellfire.com.